Hi there, today's video I'm looking at Alzheimer's disease and a very interesting art article, or should I say two articles that I've picked up in the past couple of days. One was in the New York Times, the other one was in a medical journal. I'll post the links to both in the description box down below. And what the this article deals with is Posing a question based on research that's been ongoing since 2005 that Alzheimer's disease may very well be a type 3 diabetes. And the rationale behind that is that, as we know, um, type 1 diabetes, which is the hereditary um, childhood onset diabetes, is the pancreas's lack of being able to produce insulin. Whereas your type 2 diabetes, which is your lifestyle diabetes, is lifestyle choices um, pre prevents your um, the insulin to be able to do its job. In other words, all the fat that you're eating blocks up the little... If insulin's a, insulin's a key, all the fat you're eating blocks up the little keyholes in the muscles so the insulin key can't get in and open up the muscle for the blood sugar to get from the blood into the muscles where it's needed. And that's basically what leads to your type 2 diabetes. Now this research that's been going since 2005 is basically saying that effectively a similar type of thing they've been noticing happening in the brain. Obviously for your brain to be able to op operate at absolute optimum capacity, it needs glycogen. Your, your brain needs glycogen to be able to operate. So what the research has been noticing is that the same type of insulin blockages that were happening in the muscles that uh, led to elevated blood sugar levels and type 2 diabetes, the same type of insulin blockages have been happening in the brain as well. So in other words, all the, the fat that's been in your bloodstream from all the fatty foods that you've been eating blocks up the little insulin keyholes inside your brain as well. And what that means is that with those insulin keyholes blocked up, the insulin can't get in, do its work, open the door as far as your brain cells are concerned to be able to allow the blood sugar in. And what happens is that with an extended period of time of not being able to get sufficient blood sugar into your brain cells to keep them fueled up. It, it limits the capacity at which those blood cells, oh, those, sorry, those brain cells are able to operate. And over a period of time, that diminishing, 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 diminishing uh, brain function leads to Alzheimer's disease. That's my take on the matter. Have a look at the two articles. Post your comments and questions down below. And also, while you are down there, share this out amongst your friends. Click the thumbs up button if you like the video. If you don't like it, click the thumbs down button. Also, while you're down there as well, down in the bottom left hand corner is a big red subscribe button. Click that so you can stay subscribed to my channel for all of the new videos as I post them on a day to day, week to week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.